Ford Distribution Center. It's uh, October 10th, 2022. There's a trailer, it looks like it hit a bridge. So I want to come over here and show you what I saw. Pretty well caught my eye. But it smashed the reefer all the way in. I'm thinking it hit a bridge or something. Anything with the cab, it would uh, damage the bottom, not the top like that. But there's actually two trailers that are pretty messed up. two drops this week. I have to go to Kroger's. Uh, it's King Super in Denver after this. Oh wow. Smashed it all the way in. It's totaled. This one, he sideswiped something. Usually when you cut around, he hit, he probably hit another side of another trailer. This is a Hyundai trailer. They smashed it in pretty good. Everything else looks great. Uh, looks like the side scuffed. Damn, the side light's gone. I wonder if he lost his job doing this. That's why you really have to understand 13.6 uh, is the height of these trailers. But damn, he went way too low. For it to smash all the way in like that. The cab's got to get smashed too. Unless it got disconnected and ghost wire ride right in, but the landing gear looks alright. Usually that breaks off. But he was going really fast. That's pretty embarrassing. You can actually drive it back. It didn't really bend anything. That's how insulated these trailers are. Looks like about three inches of insulation. But I wanted to show you that. It really caught my eye. Low clearance. Watch out. But yeah, it's usually 13.6 is the height of these trailers. So once you see 13.7, you really want to slow down so you don't hit any bumps. You got an inch play. But main bridge is out here are over 14, and uh, you don't really get anything like that. And highways, uh, it's sometimes 13.9. But when you see something like that, it really reminds you of how you are. Well, it's about 70 degrees here. But I figure I'll make this video for you guys. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll put that under my playlist wreck. But uh, yeah, I bet that guy came back with all these excuses. But sometimes they just follow their GPS. They don't really look out the window, they just look at the GPS. They told me to go there. I don't know. Uh, it usually takes about four hours here. And then I'll hit Illinois, to Iowa, Nebraska, I think Colorado. Got my truck nice and clean. Like my headlights. 
Maybe need the fog lights too. But it's going to be winter pretty soon, so it won't look like this. Disconnect and pull away. But I got nice and washed. That's a good truck. I always try to make it look brand new every day. I do put trim on the uh, taillights, uh, the blinkers too. That way it looks good. Looks like they fixed my plastic, but they put a screw on it, that way it won't come off again. If it works, I want to do the other side too. Uh, the other trailer was Rhodes, this is Leonard's, they use Wabash. These are called composite sides versus these rib sides or, that are aluminum. Deposits or fiberglass. They're pretty smooth, but they come with dually instead of single. It's like the Holman trailers. Holman trailers, and you see they put this brace here got bent. But I like this kind of idea where you actually have to weave it in. Instead of just like that, you can weave it in here. And that way it doesn't slip off. It's really a good idea. I had instructions for everybody, but I figured it out. I unloaded at 2 in the morning in Madison and got this at Rhodes and two drops and see where I go next. Keep going around the circles.